Hi, in this video we're going to look at how to use the fillet and chamfer tools in Onshape. So the fillet and chamfer tools can be found up here on the toolbar. Fillet is used to um, round an edge on a or edges on a 3D shape, so kind of creates smooth rounded edges. Uh, whereas a chamfer is used to uh, flatten uh, the edges of a shape um, at a certain angle and depth. So let's have a look at how to do this. Um, firstly, what we're going to do is create a sketch uh, in order to create a 3D shape. So I'm just going to draw this on the top plane uh, and I'm going to use a center point rectangle. Draw that out and I'm going to make it 70 by 70. Uh, so I'll just type in 70 for one side, 70 for the other. Okay. And then I'll uh, extrude this shape. And I'm going to extrude uh, the sketch uh, to 70 millimeters. So it's actually going to be a cube. All right, and I'm happy with that. All right, so there we go. We've got a, a cube here. Okay, so let's start with fillet. So if we click on the fillet tool, there's a couple of ways that you can do this. You can either click on an edge. All right, so if I want to create a fillet on this, this edge here, I can just click that edge there and already we can see a fillet there and I can click on other edges as well. All right, so I could go and fill it any edge that I want to by just selecting them individually, or if I just remove those, instead of selecting uh, edges, I can just select an entire face. So if I select this face, it's going to fill it all of those edges there, and I can select this face as well, and this face as well, and then we could just um, orbit around, oops, holding down the uh, right key, right click key, or using the, uh, little cube here to rotate around the shape we could select either different edges or different faces that we want to extrude so you can actually you can select faces and edges uh, a combination of faces and edges uh, as you fill it okay uh, there are a few settings that you can change here when you fill it so you can uh, turn on tangent propagation uh, you can change the cross section circular conic or curvature um, and you can also set um, variable fillet on or off and you can change the radius. First, I'll look at the radius. So if I change, uh, I'll just uh, undo that one. If I change the radius, so currently it's five millimeters, I might make it 20. Then you'll see that we'll get uh, a much bigger fillet. All right, it's a larger radius, so we'll get a larger fillet. I'll change that back to, to five millimeters. All right. Uh, this is currently on a circular cross section. I can change that to conic and uh, play around with different values here. So I could lower this to say 0 0.1. All right, we can see it, it gets sort of um, much sort of, uh, it, it almost looks more like a uh, chamfer. All right, so it's kind of a bit flatter there. If we could change that to 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0.4 and you can see the difference that's happening there and I can pick values between 0 and 1 so I could go 0 0.9 and you can see it it's um, it's coming out much more there but it's still smooth on the corner there uh, if you zoom in so um, you can set the amount of a smoother set smoother set and you can do that with curvature as well so I'll try 0 0.2 for magnitude and 0 0.9 and you can see you kind of get a similar effect there. 0 0.5 is the default. I'm going to set that back to circular. And there's another setting here that you can change as well, which is variable fillet. And what this allows you to do is um, change the fillet from uh, one end to the other. So for example, I can set vertices. For example, I'll click this corner here and this corner over here. And I'll make one five millimeters and the other one I'll make 10 millimeters. And so now, oops, going a bit closer to that, now we can see the fillet is uh, different from one end to the other. All right, I can just undo that and untick variable fillet if I don't want that. So that's a fillet. There's a few, a few different settings there that you can uh, work with to um, change the type of fillet that you'd like. All right, now let's cancel that and we'll go and have a look at chamfer. And chamfer is uh, really similar. All right, so 
If I click on chamfer, again, I can either select an edge or I can select uh, an entire face and combinations of edges or faces um, all in one go. If I wanted to do this whole shape, I could just click on all the, all the different faces. Okay, so there uh, aren't as many settings for chamfer. Um, you can either select edges or, or faces. And then when you do that, you can specify the distance. So uh, currently it's five millimeters, but I might change that to 10. All right, I'll back to five. So you can change the distance for the chamfer. Uh, you can make it equal distance, which is what I just did. Uh, you can use two distances as well. All right, so uh, for example, one side I might make five and the other I might make 10. So if we zoom in, you can see the top, chamfer, top part of the chamfer here is just five millimeters but the um, side or vertical, so horizontally it's about five and uh, vertically it's, it's 10 millimeters. So you can use two distances and you can also specify the distance and the angle as well. So I could change this from 45 degrees, the default uh, to something else like that. All right, so a few different settings there that you can change as well. Okay, so that's how to create a fillet and a chamfer uh, in Onshape. Thanks for watching.